Hey guys, welcome back to Express Gaming, your place to get all your gaming news and reviews. In this video, I'm going to be talking about NPD's uh, best-selling games of the month and uh, the best-selling consoles of the month. And if you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe and push the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I upload. I upload every day, Monday through Friday, until the end of the year, and then after that, I'm probably going to go down to three videos a week. But, until then, dude, let's get into the video. Okay, guys, uh, according to NPD, the best-selling console of the month in terms of units sold was the Nintendo Switch, which would make this, like, its 24th consecutive month of being the best in North America, which is awesome, which makes it, uh, it's been, like, the best-selling console for the past two years, which is really cool, but they didn't win in terms of money the consoles made pretty much on the unit. So the PS5 they made the most amount of money out of console sales in, in the launch month. But hey, I mean like yeah, the game it's like 500 and 400 for the consoles though, dude, for the uh disc version and uh uh digital version respectively. But that 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 does make make some sense if that happened. Let's go over to the top selling to to the top selling games in the US. At number one, we have Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, which makes a lot of sense why that would be there, dude. It's a new Call of Duty, like, it was like released this month, or dude, like, new consoles. Yeah, most people who bought it probably bought the Call of Duty, I guess. At number two, we got Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which uh, is a new Assassin's Creed game. It takes place in, a, it takes place in, a, uh, during the Viking times, you know, you're during that time, though, dude. At number two, it's that's really good. At number three, we have Miles Morales' the Spider-Man uh, game, which is uh, it's, it's a very it's a short game, but it's a, it looks really fun. Personally, I haven't played it though, dude. At number four, we have Madden NFL 21, which um the game sucked last gen. Don't know if it's any different. At five, we have NBA 2K21, which no idea if it's good or not. At number six, we have Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity, which seems really, which actually, which is really good. And even it does did release here, so may I mean like uh, hoping it would be a little higher, at least like four, because like above Madden and NBA, but like yeah, probably one's gonna get higher than Miles Morales because like yeah, that's it's a it's a launch game, so yeah. At number seven, we have Watch Dogs Legion, which is a new Watch Dogs game launched on the. It was a launch title for the new platforms. Uh, number eight, we have Animal Crossing: New Horizons, which this game I will not get out of like the top ten, dude. Probably, which is until like it's a year on the market. Even then, though, it's probably not. Dude. This game's been selling so well, sold so many units. It's probably at this point the best-selling game on Switch. Yeah, when we get uh, Nintendo's quarterly updates, uh, like, in January, though, dude, for December's, for, like, the fourth quarter of 2020, it will probably be the best-selling game on Switch. At number 9, we have FIFA 21. I mean, it's a FIFA game. At number 10, we have Demon Souls, which, again, it's a launch title for the for PS5, so, yeah, it's probably going to be up there. Uh, some games that didn't make the cut were Mario Kart 8 Deluxe at 11, which is still really... Cool, that thing is still selling really well. It's in the top 20. At number 12, we have Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which, again, if you haven't p picked it up already you and you want it, you, you really should get it before March 31st, because after that day, it's, you're not going to be able to buy it physically in stores, and you won't be able to buy, get it off the eShop. And I don't think you're going to be able to update it, though, dude, because the update did add some new stuff. Um... Uh, the update pretty much allowed you to have inverse controls and all that stuff, like, and it actually kind of allowed the game cube control to actually work with Sunshine. Okay, let's go on to the next one. 13, we have Just Dance 2021. 14, we have New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And number 15, we have Luigi's Mansion 3. Which, super cool. It's actually really cool how all these games were able to make it, like, top 10, top 15, though, dude. Like, how many of these games came out on Switch, though, dude? Uh... Three games in the top ten came out on Switch. NBA 2K21, it did come out on Switch, but, like, it's probably not selling... It's probably selling most of it on, like, the PS5. And 
Xbox Series that I can play in PC. Uh, Madden, I feel like Madden could be a really fun, it could be decent on the Switch though, dude, but like, it, it wouldn't look as good as it will next gen, I mean, duh. But hey, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe and push the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I upload. Again, I upload every day, Monday through Friday, until the end of the year. And please leave a like and subscribe and push the notification bell so you're... And hey, that's the end of the video. Bye.